Good morning, everyone. Good morning, church. Happy Monday morning. Hope you're well this morning. Boy, do you feel like your emotions are on a roller coaster ride during this time? I feel like uh, every day is something new that hits me and my emotions go running crazy and I can easily be led into discussions or, or get emotionally charged into a conversation. And uh, these are emotionally troubling times. And this Sunday, we this last Sunday, we talked about how to manage our emotions in troubling times. Maybe manage is not the right word, but um, how do we handle, how do we bring the Lord into um, our emotions, especially during times like these? And uh, we talked about three things. just want to give them to you this morning to kick this week off. Um, these are absolutely critical, but how do we manage our emotions in troubling times? Later this week, we'll get into the details of some of the prophetic stuff in the Olivet Discourse that Matthew um uh, talks about in Matthew 24. This morning, I want to kick this week off with these three things. First of all, how are we going to manage emotions in troubling times? First thing is we have to watch over our heart. Proverbs 4.23 says this, keep your heart, in other words, guard your heart, protect your heart with all vigilance for it is the wellspring of life. So we start there to watch over our heart. It's the wellspring of life. We must guard it. And uh, we must be in tune with what's going on inside our heart. We can't hold that in, especially in times like this. It's so sad to watch what's going on, right, in the emotional state, right, of our nation and our communities. Uh, boy, it, we're coming to really a, a, a breaking point in, in many lives and communities. Uh, it's time for the church to shine. It's time for us to gather together and, and know how to manage our, our emotions, right, to have a healthy community and see a sense of peace, right, in these time. So the first thing is um, Proverbs 4, 23, watch over our heart. Um, pay attention. And hopefully you have a congregation, you have a community that, uh, or friendships, this option group that you're able to dive in deep on those issues. Second thing is we must trust, learn, right, to trust Jesus with all of our heart. Uh, now that's an easy just saying, but how do we do that? Proverbs 3, um, verses uh, 5 through 8. I want to read these for us. This is a longer set of scripture, but the second thing is we must trust Jesus with our emotions. Remember, faith has to lead out in front of our emotions. If emotions get ahead, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to live by the flesh, and we're not going to experience the fruit of the Spirit. Um, but this, how do we learn uh, to trust Jesus? So listen to this, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. I put all these verses to, to memory. I just want to read these, though. It's a longer set, but I, I would put them to memory. Um, Starting in verse 5, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Man, how we need to lean into that during this time. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. All right, call upon him in, into uh, whatever the situation, however you're feeling. Just uh, as the psalmist say, we're to talk to God and, and to lift our soul right before him. In all our ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight our paths. If you have big decisions on the line, um, boy, this is, uh, he promises he will make our paths straight. If we trust him with our emotions, we lead out with faith, we walk with him, keep in step with the Spirit, he'll make our paths straight. Verse 7, be not wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Man, that, uh, I believe this is one of the big things God's doing in his church. Um, and so we need to heed that. But look at verse eight. This all will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. There was the promise of holistic healing if we learn to trust Jesus. So first of all, watch over our heart with all diligence. Secondly, trust Jesus with all of our emotions. Third is that we need to expect and pursue the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5.22 tells us the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are a promise of God that we must learn to watch over our heart. We must expect those things, love and joy and peace, expect them, but they need to be pursued. And we do that by watching over our heart, trusting Jesus with all of our heart, and then expecting and pursuing the fruit of the Spirit. I uh, hope this blesses you and strengthens you, encourages you um, this week. God bless.